I'm Steve Schwartz, founder of Pro Influence, and you're listening to Startup Spotlight, a podcast series featuring innovative, consumer based startup companies and their passionate founders. Today, we're showcasing Mamie's Pies, an innovative CPG startup in the Bay Area of California. Mamie's Pies has reimagined the traditional pie by developing a convenient, single serve pocket pie using delicious family recipes from New England. Joining us now from San Francisco is Kara Romanik, founder and CEO of Mamie's Pies. Hi, Kara. Thank you for joining us on Startup Spotlight. Thanks, Steve. I'm so glad to be here with you today. Kara, I really want to touch on your background for a minute because it's really unique. You're not the stereotypical entrepreneur that a lot of us kind of see on TV or hear about today. Your career started with Merrill Lynch. You then became a mother of three and raised a family. Well, you know, at that time, um, I was a single mom of three, and I was always involved in all the schools. My kids happened to be in three different schools. And one day, my daughter came home, and she was my oldest, and she was in high school, and she said, Mom, we don't have enough money for the dance. And since I've always been involved with the schools, I didn't think it was like, oh, don't worry about it. We'll, we'll make some of Mamie's pies, who is my, my mother. Um, we'll make some of Mamie's pies. We'll get them into the school. The teacher can taste them and then she can call and, and order as many pies as she wanted. So the very next day, um, we sent, I sent in a pie to, to school with my daughter Kiki and the teacher called and ordered 120 pies. And, I immediately said, of course, we can, we can do that for you. I'm not a business, but I will make 120 pies and I'll freeze them. And then the parents can bake them at home when they need them for the holiday. And the fundraiser was a huge success. And, you know, it got me thinking as a single mom, as 51 years old with three kids, I need a second act. What am I going to do? And I just thought, wait a minute, I've been making these pies all my life. They were a big hit with my friends and family. Um, and now they're a big hit in my daughter's high school. So I'm going to do this. And I literally, I know this sounds crazy, but I sold my house. I moved my kids and I into a, a two bedroom apartment, um, slept with my daughter in the same bed for two years as I built this business. And I, I pretty much Googled everything. I, um, Figured out how to rent a commercial kitchen. You know, all I could afford was about eight hours a week. I figured out how to how to make um, packaging, how to design packaging, and I just took it from there. And I went um, to this grocery store that actually housed all 120 pies that I had originally frozen because I didn't have a freezer big enough. And I called on that first grocery store and I said, "Hey, you help me out with the fundraiser. You put all our pies in the back of your freezer." I'm, I would like to, to start selling these in your store. And lo and behold, the, the owner kind of took me under his wing, taught me all about UPCs and all the, the necessary information that I need to do and, and things I need to um, get accomplished before I get on the store shelf. And, you know, within six, eight months, we were in about 25 grocery stores in the Bay Area. So it was a, it's been an amazing second act to say the least. Unbelievable. So it's truly like necessity is the mother of all invention. Exactly. Wow. You really started the company making and selling full size nine inch pies, Mm -hmm. but now the business is based on a pocket pie. Can you tell us what a pocket pie is and how you came up with that concept? (laughs) Well, you know what I love about the invention, the creation of the pocket pie is it came from customers. So while I was selling these, um, my grandmother's uh, apple and pumpkin nine inch pies, you know, I quickly realized it's a seasonal business. And at the same time, customers would come to my tasting tables in, in March and April when I'm in the grocery store and they would say, we love your pie. We bought it for Christmas. The family was in town. It was just great. But now that everybody's gone, we'd like something smaller. Could you make a smaller pie just individual? And the more I thought about it, you know, I didn't like individual pies that had more crust to filling and they were in a pie tin and you needed a fork. I wanted something that was truly single serving. And I just started to Google everything and I found these pocket pie molds online. And I knew the minute I found that, that was the future of Mamie's pies. It was going to be the pocket pie. Wow. What a great, great story. Speaking of that, 
Most entrepreneurs go through quite the roller coaster in building their their businesses. And with that roller coaster come some pretty crazy stories. Can you tell us a fun behind the scenes story about your startup journey so far? <laughs> yeah. You know, I have three kids as I said and and when you're, you know, a startup and a new entrepreneur, you just kind of pull from friends and family. So I enlisted my three kids to do tasting demos all around the Bay Area. So I'd set up a, a table in the kitchen and I would coach them on how the table is supposed to be set up, what you're supposed to say. I would give them all of their talking points. I would show them how to serve samples, everything that they needed to do at a tasting demo. I took a picture of the table. I texted it to all the kids. So they had it in their phone. And then I, we would all get in the car and I'd have four demos set up. So I'd drop each of the kids and then off at a store. And then I would go to the store and then I would tell them, set up your table, take a picture, text it to me. So I know we're all on the same page and they'd start um, sampling Mamie's pies. <laughs> Amazing. Did you ever set up a competition between the kids when they're out in the stores? Of course <laughs> I did. I would tell them when you go in, count the number of pies in the freezer, and that's your starting point, and let's see who sells the most. And, you know, at this point, it was usually wrapped around the holidays where we had those demos. So there were a lot of pies going out the doors. It was, it was fun. It was a oh. lot of fun. That is fantastic. I can just imagine you giving orders to your army of little uh, pie salesmen. <laughs> you said it. And they really loved the fact that they could say this was their grandmother's recipe and their great grandmother's recipe. Their grandmother taught their own mom how to make it. And then they're out talking to customers about it and selling it. So, you know, it's this four generations of pie making and it's a very warm and inviting for customers to see kids really stepping up and working for their family. Yeah, I love it. Well, Kari, you've had just this incredible journey so far. You've had tremendous success in a short amount of time. You've been named to Oprah's favorites list. You're on QVC repeatedly over the last couple of years. Uh, you've got a tremendous e-commerce business. You've now launched into retail. Where do you see taking Mamie's Pies in the future? Yeah, you know, you know, I said I was in grocery stores in Northern California with the nine inch pies, but once I came out with the pocket pies, I really switched gears. And like you said, because of Oprah's favorite, we needed to be available online. And now that I look back, building out that e-commerce platform was pretty smart. <laughs> it really, you really get to your customer and then back into grocery, but now in with the, the pocket pies this fourth quarter of 2019. And the future is pretty darn bright for Mamie's pocket pies. We're going to go into a new revenue channel next year, and that's going to be food service, which encompasses everything from airlines to cruise lines to restaurants and catering. It really is endless. And because the pocket pie is single serving and frozen, this will apply to so many different um, revenue channels. It would be pretty exciting. And then on top of that, expanding the product line itself, once we get distribution for our fruit pocket pies, we absolutely see a savory pocket pie. And I can envision my grandmother's beef stew and her chicken pot pie and maybe in an Italian pocket pie. And that would be a great dinner serving. And we even think going into breakfast. So we would do egg and cheese and maybe spinach and, and really be creative. So I, I see three different lines of pocket pies. And, you know, you don't want to spread yourself too thin. So we focus on what we do now and build out that strong foundation across all revenue channels, e-commerce, retail grocery, and then food service. And once we do that, then we can talk about extending the product line. Wow, what a great plan. And I love the vision. Cara, what's the one thing you'd like listeners to remember about Mamie's Pies when they see it online or on the store shelf? You know, when a customer goes to the grocery store and, and they see them, the pocket pies in the freezer case, you know, they're not in a box. It's, it's in a clear wrap. And so you see this apple shaped pocket pie, you see the product itself. It isn't a picture on a box and you open it up and it's something completely different. You see the pocket pie. You turn over the packaging, you see simple, simple ingredients, four ingredients in the crust, four ingredients in the filling, no preservatives. So the first thing is transparency. Wow, look at this product. I don't have to wait to see what's inside the box. I see what I'm buying and I know what's in it. And then you think about pie. And when customers, when, you know, when any of us think about pie, it's always that warm, happy 
feelings and memories of your own family gatherings. It's your grandmother and your mother, and maybe you bake pies in the kitchen, or maybe you just showed up and the pies were there already made. And all the feelings and the great memories that you get from that, that's what we want customers to feel when they see Mamie's. And when they bite into a Mamie's pocket pie, if your very first thought is, oh my gosh, this reminds me of my grandmother, then we did our job. Cara, thank you for sharing your story on Startup Spotlight. Best of luck to you and your family and the Mamie's Pie team. Thank you so much for having me, Steve. Really appreciate it and a lot of fun today. That'll wrap things up for this episode of Startup Spotlight. I'm Steve Schwartz of Pro Influence. Please give us your feedback and share this podcast with your family, friends, and colleagues. You can find all Startup Spotlight episodes on Adori, SoundCloud, iTunes, and Spotify. Thanks for listening and be on the lookout for our next episode coming soon.